Hi, and welcome back to Wapolo County Conservation's educational video series. Today, I'm out here at Pioneer Ridge to talk to you about this Iowa native plant, the compass plant. Now, you may look at this plant and think, compass plant, what are you talking about? It looks like a sunflower. You're not entirely wrong. This plant is in the sunflower family, but it's not like the sunflowers that you can go out and see at our Pearson Park or anything like that. But like sunflowers, these plants do go pr grow pretty tall. Uh, typically, the compass plant will grow about six to 10 feet. Uh, and even below the compass plant, what you can see above ground, their taproot is even bigger than the actual flowering head and stalk up above because the taproot grows to be about 16 feet. And one of the things that's kind of cool about the taproot of the compass plant is it's got a resin in it. So Native American children actually used to dig up this plant. They'd break the root to get the resin out. They'd dry it and then they would actually use it kind of like bubble gum. So they'd chew it and it would actually clean their teeth a little bit and make their breath a little bit sweeter. The leaves on this compass plant, as you can see, are fairly thin. They kind of look like someone took scissors to maybe a broad leaf and just cut away at them. Uh, but the cool thing about compass plant leaves are is they actually try to orient themselves north to south. So the flat part of the leaf will be facing east to west and the edges are going to be facing north to south. And that's actually part of the reason why it's called compass plant. Uh, because supposedly early pioneers that were wading through the tall grass prairies of Iowa would use this plant to orient themselves and kind of figure out what direction they were going or which direction that they needed to go. The compass plants typically are going to produce between 6 to 20 flowering heads, which is actually pretty amazing. Uh, but they're not going to produce the flowering heads until they're couple years into their life. Within the first few years, you're just going to see some of the broader leaves sticking up from the ground. Uh, and that's because in the first couple years, they're actually working on growing their taproot farther down into the ground rather than working on shooting up the stalk of the plant. So after a few years, they'll start to grow up more. The taproot's still going to keep growing, but it's also going to be growing the flowering stock. Uh, these plants are very beneficial to our pollinators here. Bees especially really enjoy the compass plants. Uh, butterflies can occasionally be seen on them getting pollen and nectar out of them. Uh, we also have kingbirds here. They'll perch on these thick stalks looking for grassland insects that they can pick up and eat. And many other seed-eating birds will also take the seeds once they're ready out of the compass plant's flowering heads. So these are actually a cool, important plant that we have around here in Iowa. And if you're look out looking for compass plants, they can be found in tall grass prairies. Uh, you can find them in sand prairies. You can find them in savannas. Maybe if you're lucky along a roadside ditch. So as always, just get outside and take a good look at the natural world around you. Come out here to Pioneer Ridge and look at all of the compass plant that we've got growing around here. Maybe come stand next to it, see how you measure up. Look for pollinators, see what kinds of butterflies you can find, see if you can find any bees that are out here pollinating. But most importantly, just get outside, enjoy nature, and have a nice day.